Today we'll discuss some beginning tips that you'll need to get started. Most of the time two pieces of fabric are sewed together with right sides facing each other. You see how this is the right side of the fabric that you're going to want on the outside of your garment. You're going to want this, the wrong side of the fabric, on the inside. Most patterns say right side to right side. If you're sewing a seam together, pin along where you want to sew. Usually a plain seam is used, that is a line of stitching a certain distance from the raw edge. You'll see that there are certain marks on your machine. This is the most common one for commercial patterns like Simplicity, McCall's, Vogue, etc. It's 5 eighths of an inch. Some patterns from boutique stores, you'll have a quarter of an inch, which is right along this edge. Half an inch is right here. Each of these lines on my machine is one eighth of an inch. When you place pins, they must be perpendicular to the edge. Most modern sewing machines have a foot that will go over the pins as you sew. If you have an older machine, you're going to have to remove the pins as you sew. Most Singer machines, you can get this shank foot holder to put in the machine so that it will go up and down over the pin. Place your fabric lined along whatever you want your seam width to be. Let's do 5 eighths of an inch today. Put your presser foot down. This holds the fabric so it doesn't move around and it keeps the fabric at the right tension. Get into the habit of back tacking at the beginning and end of your seam. If you have a reverse button on your machine, then you'll be able to go forward as easily as you go backwards. Let's go forward with a straight stitch with the needle in the center. Now, after about six stitches, I push on the reverse button. And go back to the same scene, you're going to want to reverse stitch again. And my machine just has this quick little reverse button. If the machine does not have a reverse, then you can manually do a back tack by first starting in the wrong direction for your seam. Stitch a few stitches, then with the needle inside your fabric, turn the fabric around. So that now you'll be stitching your seam in the correct direction, and you see that you back tack over what you started. If you don't have reverse on your machine and you're doing more than quilting, do yourself a favor. For less than $150, you can get yourself a machine that does reverse, zigzag, and all the other things that you're going to want to do for your sewing project. 